So Ghana is celebrating yet another industrial milestone with the completion and inauguration of the 63 million watermelon processing and bottling factory in Logui Waliwali, located in the northeast region. Commissioned by Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, this modern facility marks a transformative moment for the region's agriculture and industrial development. And in today's video, we'll be diving deeper into its commissioning and inauguration. So stick to this video to the end. Be sure to smash the like button as it helps this content gets to more people and informs them. Let's get right into it. This recently inaugurated watermelon processing and bottling factory was funded through the Ghana Export and Import Bank under the government's ambitious One District One Factory initiative. The factory is set to revolutionize the watermelon value chain, significantly reduce post-harvest losses, and create a wide array of economic opportunities. The state-of-the-art factory, strategically sited in one of Ghana's leading watermelon growing regions, is designed to produce premium quality watermelon juice for both domestic and export markets. With cutting-edge technology and an emphasis on sustainability, the factory promises to be a game-changer, empowering farmers, creating jobs and contributing to Ghana's goal of becoming a leader in agro-industrial processing. Speaking at the commissioning ceremony, the Vice President Dr. Baumud Baumia outlined the critical role this project will play in addressing the persistent challenges faced by local farmers. For years, farmers in Waliwali and surrounding communities have grappled with massive post-harvest losses due to inadequate storage, processing facilities, and limited market access. This region is blessed with fertile land that produces abundant watermelons. But for far too long, these farmers have seen their hard work go to waste, Dr. Baumia noted. Today, with the factory, we are choosing the gap between production and value addition, transforming challenges into opportunities. The factory, the vice president emphasized, is not only a solution to agricultural losses, but also a critical step in Ghana's industrial journey. By processing watermelons locally with high-value products, the facility will reduce waste, increase agricultural productivity, and improve the livelihoods of thousands of small-scale farmers. The initiative is a cornerstone of the One District, One Factory program's vision to decentralize industrial development and create jobs at the community level where they are needed the most. The success of the project would not have been possible without strategic partnerships and financial backing. Dr. Baumia praised the Ghana Exports and Import Bank for its pivotal role in funding the factory and ensuring its timely completion. Collaborating closely with the Champion Foods and Beverages Limited, the private sector entity that executed the project, the Ghana Import and Export Bank provided approximately 80% of the financing, equivalent to 50 million Ghana cities over a remarkable short period. Lawrence Ajinsam, CEO of the Ghana Export and Import Bank, reflected on the journey that led to the factory's realization. In December 2019, we were tasked with delivering on this vision and today, less than a year since the groundbreaking ceremony, we are proud to witness its completion, he remarked. Ajin Sam underscored the bank's commitment to supporting projects that align with Ghana's industrialization goals. The facility is a testament to what can be achieved when public and private sectors come together with shared vision. It is not just an investment in infrastructure, it is an investment in people, communities and Ghana's future, he added. The factory's impact is already being felt in the Waliwali and beyond districts, with the capacity to create 800 direct jobs and additional 10,000 indirect jobs. It promises to reduce unemployment and empower local communities. Small-scale watermelon farmers, who form the backbone of the region's economy, now have access to a reliable market for their produce drastically reducing post-harvest losses and increasing their income. A local farmer shared his excitement during the ceremony, stating that, for years, we watched our crops rot because we had no way of selling all we harvested. This factory gives us hope, not just for today, but for our children and grandchildren. It is a new beginning for us. The facility is also expected to encourage more farmers to venture into watermelon cultivation, knowing that their produce will no longer go to waste. By adding value to raw materials, the factory will contribute to Ghana's goal of reducing dependence on raw exports and increasing their competitiveness in the global agro-processing market. One of the factory's standout features is its emphasis on sustainability. From energy-efficient machinery to environmentally friendly waste management systems, the facility is designed to minimize its ecological footprint while maximizing efficiency. 
Additionally, it adheres to strict food safety and quality standards, ensuring that its products meet both local and international market requirements. Dr. Baumia emphasized that the project is not just about today but about building a future ready industrial sector. This factory represents the transformative power of innovation and commitment. It is proof that when we invest in our people, our resources, and our ideas, we can achieve greatness, he said. The factory also lays the groundwork for replicating similar projects in other regions. By identifying local agricultural strains and investing in processing facilities, Ghana can create a network of industrial hubs that drive economic growth and rural development across the country. With its world-class facilities and focus on value addition, the factory positions Ghana as a competitive player in the global beverage market. The processing and bottling of watermelon juice for exports not only generates foreign exchange earnings, but also promotes the country's brand on the international stage. By linking smallholder farmers to global markets, this project is expected to elevate Ghana's agro-industrial sector and enhance its contribution to the national GDP. Beyond the economic benefits, the factory is anticipated to spare regional development by attracting ancillary industries such as packaging, logistics and agricultural services. The multiplier effect will create additional employment opportunities, foster innovation and encourage further investment in the northeast region. Over time, the factory could become a hub for agricultural research, technology transfer and entrepreneurial activity making Wale Wale a center of growth and progress. The inauguration ceremony was attended by government officials, private sector representatives and local leaders, all of whom expressed their support for the initiative. The collaborative efforts between the Ghana Import-Export Bank, Champion Foods and Beverage Limited and the local community was frequently highlighted as a key factor in the project's success. The vice president urged the people of Wale Wale to take pride in the facility and ensure its proper maintenance. The factory is your factory. Its success depends on you, how you use it, protect it and make it a source of pride for generations to come," he said. The inauguration of the 63 million Ghana City Watermelon Processing and Bottling Factory is a landmark achievement in Ghana's industrialization agenda. It symbolizes the government's unwavering commitment to empowering rural communities, supporting small-scale farmers and driving economic growth through innovative solutions. This factory is not just an infrastructural project, it's a transformative initiative that addresses long-standing challenges unlocking new opportunities and sets Ghana on a path towards sustainable industrial development. As it begins operations, it stands as a testament to what we can achieve through vision, collaboration and determination. For the people of Wale Wale and the entire nation, this factory represents hope, progress and the promise of a brighter future. It is a powerful reminder that Ghana's development story is still being written and projects like these are the chapters that will define its success. If you like contents like this, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel as we always bring you riveting content and also share this content across platforms. Check out this video next on other amazing projects that are equally amazing happening here in Ghana. Thank you and on to the next video. Be sure to check this next video out.